KITCO News, special coverage of the Decentral Miami Conference is brought to you by Cook Finance, a revolution in DeFi asset management. Can artificial intelligence write music and create art? Well, that's the main topic of our discussion with Shane Lightowler. He is a product lead at Euler Beats, part of Consensus. Shane, welcome to Kitco News. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. This is a really exciting topic because I'm an amateur musician. I don't play music. I don't. I don't. I don't uh, do this professionally. Of course, I interview people. That's my job. But in my free time, I write music, and I'm a you know I arrange music. I do covers of pop songs. So I'm. I've been thinking to myself. What if one day an AI could do everything I can do? Are we there yet? We, we aren't there yet, but um, I do need to reassure you, you're not going to be replaced anytime <laughs> soon. But um, we're, we're certainly working on um, a process where we can take computer-generated inputs and create music um, that you might like. That's literally what we're doing here at Consensus as part of Euler Beats. So, um, yeah, I'm going to talk about the tech in detail with you because I'm curious to learn about this. Euler Beats, the name referencing the mathematician, why? Indeed. So, um, his mathematical formulas, um, we use those as the foundational basis for the generative model, um, which underlies uh, the first two Euler Beats drops that we did back um, in February, March this year. So, his maths fed into our system. We outputted generative music fully on chain um, using that. Uh, and those two drops earlier in there were very successful in the market. We're on the verge of launching our third set, Futura. Um, that's happening on Monday. Uh, so yeah, that's where we are. All right, so let's talk about how AI composes music. Tell us about that process. So um, there's generative music and there's generative music. So um, there are many ways you can create generative music. Um, on the one hand, you can have a process that takes uh, mathematical functions and almost entirely without human input, you can create music um, in various ways. Or uh, the approach that we're taking for our, our new set, Futura, is a process which starts with human input um, i.e. human created songs and then um, along the way we input a, um, an algorithm, a computer generated process which will in our case essentially chop up many different songs into many different pieces, run it through an algorithm, a random process and our hope is it will produce music that is um, that's interesting, in some cases banging, in some cases discordant and weird, um, but that is the natural melding of AI process with human process so to produce something the, completely new. The computer new. isn't generating music from scratch, it's taking clips and input from existing music and replicating that. Is that more or less how it's done? In, our, in Futura's case, yes. Um, for the previous drops that I spoke about briefly just now, Genesis and Enigma, those processes were much more AI um, generative driven. We've chosen this time to go with um, a sort of a mesh of computer and human um, input because uh, we, want, we want this, Futura, to be the concept car for a process which we will, we will roll out in future where we will bring in collaborating human artists to produce gener these generative NFT drops and, and the computer, so what kind of music does this, uh, the genre of music that's most likely to be uh, featured on your platform? So that's entirely dependent on the collaborating artists. Okay. But in the case of Futura, in the case of, um, Futura it's, um, how would we describe it? Deep house tech 
techno, right. electronic vibes. But how did, okay, so, so is it just picking up on sound patterns and replicating that? Because when you write music, you have to understand theory, you have to understand harmony, your chord progressions have to make sense, you have to have the melody that makes sense, otherwise no one's gonna be banging to it, right? Uh, if you're doing a dance beat, there has to be a groove, there has to be, you know, everything has to be structured. The computer understands all this or no? So I would say no, the computer doesn't understand that. Right. So for the process that we are launching with Futura, it's very much the task of the artist um, to think about what the process is likely to output based on the rules that we've established at the outset. Right. And those rules could change um, for future, future drops. Um, but for this one, it's going to be pretty loose. So we're going to get a wide variety of possible musical outputs. Can you write songs? Can you write lyrics? It can definitely write songs. Whether or not those songs make sense from a, a Western musical theory perspective is, is arguable. Um, but that's part of the fun. So certainly, if an artist wanted to collaborate with us and said, I absolutely must have all outputs must be, they must be in key. They must be um, set structures such that, so that they're DJable by normal DJs. They must work as pop songs. We could make that happen. We could make that happen, but we've gone, um, we've gone much broader with Futura. So it's because we want those happy accidents. We want those discordant moments. I'd imagine something like EDM, like a dance tune, would be easier to replicate because it has blocks that rep that just basically repeat throughout the song. Very much so. Yeah. So the way that we've structured it is we have divided a song into six standard sections, which yeah. you as a producer might recognize like the intro, the drop, the chorus, the bridge, and so on and so forth. And in that way, we can, we can preordain a structure to these songs. Um, in such a way that it, it, we shouldn't go too far off piste as far as right. electronic music structure goes, yeah. but um, we will see. I, I, the, the output hasn't been created yet. That will happen when we switch this on. How, how far away are we from a computer creating something more along the lines of classical music? Um, I don't, so I personally don't know about classical, but I do. It, it's something that requires more improvisation, more complex patterns, more complex structures, um, dynamics, soft, loud, so things that things that I think would probably appeal to certain human emotions that maybe computers don't get as much. I would say we're quite far away. Yeah. So we're, I mean, we've already got clearly um, AI, machine learning programs that can effectively scrape the history of music, whether that be Western or any other type of music. Um, but I, I don't believe that we're there yet where we can have an algorithm that is spitting out music that is as emotionally capturing as we might write. So if I basically upload every single rap song ever recorded um, onto your cloud or database, what's the next step? Does the computer just synthesize all the data and the machine learning does the thinking and comes up with a pattern and replicates that? Our, our platform isn't machine learning, but I'm sure there are people out there who are creating those platforms right now. Okay, cool. Um, right. So, so I think if there's a reason to be scared as a musician, that's the type of platform <laughs> that you should be scared of. That's not out there. Yeah, blockchain technology, how are you integrating that into your uh, into uh, Euler Beats? Sure, so um, every piece of music um, that Futura will output um, and there is an almost infinite number of combinations that we can output using our platform. They will all be outputted as NFTs. So um, when you mint an NFT with us, that's an NFT that you keep. Um, it will be unique. the song which has those particular characteristics and you'll be able to sell that on the secondary and I'm, and I'm, marketplace. And I'm curious to know why Consensus decided to uh, work on this project in particular. Um, so Euler, Euler Beats was a very successful and novel from a, from a technology perspective um, NFT project back in early 2021. 
and um, our company, Trium, was, um, how would you describe it? We had an existing relationship with Consensus. Our company, Trium, has recently been bought by Consensus to bring us fully into the fold, and that is recognition of the skills, the NFT-specific skills that are on um, the Trium team. Um, and we effectively are leading the NFT uh, unit of Consensus now. So it's a space that Consensus needs to be playing in. Like, look around you today. And we're going to share a clip of some music that was created on the Oilu Beats platform. We'll, we'll play it on the, uh, uh, on the video. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Shane, for coming on the show. It's a okay. pleasure. And thank you for watching Kitco News. I'm David Lin. Kitco News, special coverage of the Decentral Miami Conference is brought to you by Cook Finance, a revolution in DeFi asset management.